your second premiere, your second, second match one. premiere. Yeah, but for, fourth time watching it. I'm wondering whether I'm going to get bored tonight. But I won't. It'll be cool. What's your favorite um, part of it so far? Uh, of the movie or the whole experience? The whole experience. Um, probably mm -hmm. London and probably being here tonight. It's yeah. just mad. First time in New York, right? First time in New York. We've been here since Wednesday and we go home on Tuesday. So I'm really like just having a ball at the moment. What have you been doing so far? Uh, shopping, sightseeing. Went to Central Park today for the first time, which was beautiful. And we watched a show and just getting to know New York, I guess. It's just, um, it, was, it was just like a street show, but it was in Central Park. Um, so it was a free show, but it was just great to kind of watch it. So it's been mad. It's mad here. <laughs> I'm still kind of taking it all in, but it's a bit, it's a bit crazy. How do you feel this one compares to the London ones? Um, I don't know. I think they're, they seem a lot louder for some reason here. But um, no, it's, it's, it's madness. It's not exactly what I expected. I don't know quite what I expect, expected, but it's just crazy. How long does this thing go in? Um, I started, my contract was like 15, 16 weeks, but it, I started June right up, up until March this year. So it's been quite a long time. Did you film any scenes that were cut? Um, any of the films, that, any scenes that were cut? There are quite a few actually, yeah. There's a scene where me and uh, Victor Crumb, we run across the courtyard and it's snowing and stuff just before the Yule Ball, but that was cut which is a shame. So tell us about Karkaroff's aide, what's his deal? Karkaroff's aide is exactly that, uh, assistant to um, Professor Karkaroff. You've got the, the main students and then you've got myself and, and, and Professor <laughs> Karkaroff. And um, I'm like more friends of Victor Crumb, I think, in this film than actually Karkaroff's aide, rather than actually doing anything for him. It's more of just being around him. Or the... Well, we uh, start filming in February. Mm -hmm. uh, we have done, had four months of pre-production. Uh, a lot of the storyboards are already done. Grop and Thestrals have already been um, envisioned, mm -hmm. envisaged, and uh, you know, we'll be starting filming, as I say, February next year. Have you found a Luna? I've read something. No, we've, we, we've narrowed it down to a few, but we haven't yet cast. She's sort of a, a difficult... You have to be a very sophisticated actress. Yes, I mean, it's, 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 a, uh, it's a very specific part, uh, but I think it's, it's in, in many ways, it's one of the best parts of the, next, of, of, of the, of the fifth book and the fifth film, so uh, we want to get it right. Five? So, oh, sorry, sorry. so obviously a lot of, a lot of you know, plot details and stuff had to be left out of this movie from the yes. book. What do you think the fan reaction is going to be to that? Well, I think that, they, I think that we've really captured the spirit of the, film, of the book. And I think that you know, the third we had to do the same. And I think they're fine as long as we're true to the spirit. You know, if we were, to, if we were unfortunately, you know, things were left out that I love. There's no spew, there's no gameplay in the Quidditch World Cup. We see the Quidditch World Cup, but we don't actually watch the, an entire game. But the reason is, is that, that if we did, we'd have an eight or nine hour film. So, you know, we make choices and I think that, that I believe personally that we've made the right choices. Joe, Joe, we run each draft of the script by Joe to make sure she's comfortable with what we left out. She is, she's seen the film, she loves it. So we're on pretty firm ground, I think. And as a producer, what challenges do you think adapting Harry Potter and Half-Blood Prince into a film will pose? Well, I think the big challenge of Half-Blood Prince is, is a lot of it, Harry is watching what is going on. He's going back and, and uh, learning about Voldemort's life. Um, and, 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 and he's doing that as, a, as, a, as a, a voyeur in a way, as opposed to a participant. But frankly, you're way ahead of the game because we haven't begun to do that. At the moment, I'm thinking about the release of four and the pre-production and production of five. So we haven't even had a script written. Is Lockhart in the first draft of the fifth movie? Yes. And so Kenneth Brand is back. We'll see. <laughs> um, for the fifth movie, are you guys going to cut out the Weasley's exit from Hogwarts, or is that no, whole that's firework what, scene going to be in there? We hope that it'll be in there. Yeah. Awesome. Great. So, I was looking forward to that scene for a long time. Five is being, it's a very introspective film, and it's being portrayed as very hard to translate into a film. Can you talk about some of the difficulties that have been presented No, in a way, so it's actually, it's actually um, fallen into place pretty organically. Uh, um, the script, uh, you know, I've read, we're on the fifth draft of the script, it's really good. Uh, I think we've really captured Harry's journey because there's an internal journey, absolutely. Um, going from a bit of an outsider, ostracized, to becoming a leader. Uh, and uh, it's a fantastic opportunity. Great challenge to Daniel. He read the first draft and he said, uh, he says he, he, he's really excited. Dumbledore's Army, that I imagine. Dumbledore's Army is great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Okay, so tell us, how close is Rita Skeeter to your experience of journalism? Oh, oh I see. <laughs> um, 
She's an amalgam, really. She's a bit. She's a bit of a throwback to centuries. I think she's more sort of 18th century than 20th or 21st. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I think she's a mixture of people like Hedda Hopper and uh, a few of our less reputable journalists did in you, England. Did you look into old journalists? I don't really book? need to. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the script and it's all around us all the time. So. Um, How much fun was it? Yeah, it was great fun. It was lovely to work with everybody. Lovely to work with Mike Newell again. I've been getting a positive reaction from Harry Potter fans, even though your character is not the nicest one in the world. Uh, yes, I have. Just as being part of the experience, I think people are just keen to know all about that. Really, it's a unique experience. So there, and I mean, and plus I had fun with the role. I mean, I think I hope that comes across. You know, it's not dead serious all the time. Are you coming back to the next one? Am I what? Am I coming back to the next one? Yeah. No, I'm not coming back to the next one. I don't know about the one after. Watch this space. Oh, no. Why aren't you coming back to the next one? Why aren't I coming back? I don't know. I, mean, I think because, partly because it's always nice to see new people, um, and also because they'll have a different uh, angle on the story. It's never going to be the book on film exactly. The book is one thing, the film is another. They'll take certain aspects from the book and, you know, make it something that they hope is going to be commercial and that people want to see. So. I'm very How was your work with Katie? It was fantastic. How is she? She's great, you know. I think she is here, but I, I don't know where she's, she's here yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How was the dancing scene with her? It was great. I didn't actually dance with Katie. Right, so, right. But I know it was great. She's a re she's really, really cool. So yeah, it was great. She's not an actress at all. She's a for her first movie right now. Yeah, How was this? it was great. I mean, it's probably more questions for her, but I know I loved working with her. Awesome. Yeah, she's really awesome. cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, man. How you doing? Hi. The bath scene. Are you, are you uh, worried about what all these people out here are going to, what their reactions are going to be? And well, if they don't like it, then I'm worried. But if they do like it, then I'm very, very happy. No. Or you could be more worried because of that. Or they could, no, no, I don't think that would, should be, that would be worrying me at all. You know, it's, I was sort of quite embarrassed at first because I was standing there in a pair of flesh-coloured underwear, <laughs> which is incredibly unattractive. But it was, you know, it, it was, in the end, you got used to it and it was fine. Okay. Book six, your favourite parts and what you're most looking forward favorite to? Favourite part, the, the whole chapter, the cave. As that that chapter is so. I read it. I read the book in one and a half days, and it was like, come on! <laughs> it was brilliant. It was fantastic. Uh, and Ginny, all the stuff with Ginny, I'm going to look forward to as well. Did you do any stunts <laughs> that were really easy but ended up looking really hard, or vice versa? Um, I did one stunt that hopefully looks very easy, but 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 was actually very hard, which was me falling down the roof. Um, I mean, it, hopefully I looked like it. Uh, well, no, it, sh it shouldn't look easy. It shouldn't look hard in the film, and hopefully it does. But it's um, so th that was the most terrifying stunt too, the sliding down the roof, definitely. And were there any scenes you got in just one take? Um, no, never. <laughs> okay. okay, guys, we're right. done. We're about. To th our, our staff's about to go inside. Good. Yes. <laughs> yes. Are you excited to see the movie, Emerson? Yes. He's so. I just. I have to shut him up sometimes. You know, he just talks too much. Enjoy yourself. Thank <laughs> you,